Hi, it's Robert Swimmer and welcome to my channel and a big thank you to my loyal subscribers. Hey, in December I made another visit to the Port of Los Angeles to continue to explore the harbor. It was buzzing with container ship activity and I'm going to share that with you. Off in the distance is the Port of Los Angeles Breakwater Entrance and the Angels Gate Lighthouse. I've increased the uh, video speed to 600 times faster to capture all the container ship movements in a short period of time. This is the Evergreen container ship named Everlunar. It's 1,098 feet in length or 336 meters and 150 feet in width or beam or 49 meters. The shipping container capacity is 8,508 TEU or 20-foot equivalent unit of each individual container. The smaller barge and tug passing helps give scale to how really large these container ships are. Passing under the Vincent Thomas Bridge, Everlunar has arrived at the Turning Basin where the main channel ends and the East Basin channel begins. No doubt the Everlunar has fully engaged its bow thruster with the tugs guiding the container ship. I estimated it takes about 45 minutes to turn the ship around and tie it to the moorings, so I've increased the video speed 1,000 times. I sure hope you took your drama, man. Enjoy the ride. Also note how many container trucks are crossing over the Vincent Thomas Bridge. Mooring up in front of the Ever Forever, which is a F-Class container ship, although roughly the same size overall in length and beam, it has a larger TEU capacity of 12,188 units. In the distance you can hear the sounds of the powerful tugs pushing the container ship and communicating with whistle blasts, as well as the sounds of the busy Evergreens Everport Container Ship Terminal, which is located at Terminal Island.
Now begins the long process of offloading Everlunar's over 8,000 containers. Shipping containers are put on rail cars and shipped across our nation, hopefully arriving in time for the holidays. While shipping containers are being put on trucks for delivery, shipping containers are arriving, some with outgoing cargoes as well as empty containers to be shipped out. Truck drivers need to bring their patients for the long wait to pick up at other container ship terminals. At the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, there is truck congestion. With so many trucks arriving and leaving the ports, unfortunately some have had mechanical breakdowns. Eventually trucks will get dispersed on different highway systems and make their deliveries and return to the ports to repeat the cycle. This container ship leaving the Port of Los Angeles has a light load indicating many empty shipping containers. When with a full load, the water line is just below the painted red load line as seen with the container ship Everlunar when it arrived at port earlier. The protruding bulbous bow is normally below the water line. The bulb actually modifies the way the water flows around the hull, reducing drag and increasing speed, range and fuel efficiency and stability. I hope you enjoyed my update on container ship activities at the Port of Los Angeles in San Pedro, California and will join me on my next journey exploring above or below the sea or from the sky. Thank you. <music>